Letter ninety four of Letters from Egypt by Lady Lucy Duff Gordon. Read for LibriVox.org into the public domain. To Sir Alexander Duff Gordon, Luxor, January twelfth, eighteen sixty seven. Dearest Alec, only two days ago I received letters from you of the seventeenth September and the nineteenth November. I wonder how many get lost and where. Janet gives me hopes of a visit of a few days in March, and promises me a little terrier dog, whereat Omar is in raptures. I have made no plans at all, never having felt well enough to hope to be able to travel. The weather has changed for the better, and it is not at all cold now. We shall see what the warmth does for me. You make my bowels yearn with your account of Rainy. If only we had Prince Achmet's carpet, and you could all come here for a few months. We were greatly excited here last week. A boy was shot out in the sugar cane field. He was with four cops, and at first it looked ugly for the cops. But the Maon tells me he is convinced they are innocent, and that they only prevaricated from fear. It was robbers that shot the poor child. What stuck and surprised me in the affair was the excessive horror and consternation it produced. The Maon had not had a murder in his district at all in eight years. The market place was thronged with wailing women. Omar was sick all day, and the Maon pale and wretched. The horror of killing seems greater here than I ever saw it. Palgrave says the same of the Arabian Arabs in his book. It is not one's notion of Oriental feeling, but a murder in England is taken quite as a joke compared with the scene here. I fear there will be robberies owing to the distress, and the numbers who are running away from the land unable to pay their taxes. Don't fear for me, for I have two watchmen in the house every night. The regular guard and an amateur, a man whose boy I took down to Cairo to study in Gamal Azhar. Palgrave has written to Ross wanting Mabrook back. I am very sorry, the more so as Mabrook is recalcitrant. I want to stay with thee, I don't want to go back to the Nazarene. A boy who heard him said, But the lady is a Nazarene too. Whereupon Mabrook slapped his face with great vigor. He will be troublesome if he does turn restive, and he is one who can only be managed by kindness. He is as good and quiet as possible with us, but the stubborn will is there, and he is too ignorant to be reasoned with. January 14th. Today the four cops have again changed their story, and after swearing that the robbers were strangers, have accused a man who has shot birds for me all this winter, and the poor devil has gone to Kenna in chains. The weather seems to have set in steadily for fine. I hope soon to get out, but my donkey has grown old and shaky, and I am too weak to walk, so I sit in the balcony. End of letter ninety four. Read by Sibella Denton. All LibriVox files are in the public domain. For more information, please visit LibriVox.org.